Hi everybody in Colour Correction Land, it's Warren from the ICA with another quick tip on Resolve 9.1. Uh, as you know, if you click on any clip here in your browser, which you can do as a thumbnail, or you can do it as a list, this gives you lots of cool information as well. If you go down the back end, if you ever scroll, frame rate, quickly see resolution, time code, you go right to the back here, we go all the way to pixel aspect ratio, do they have sound, and the date that they were created or modified. So there's some useful stuff there. You can also sort this by just clicking there and sort into time code order. Uh, most people probably prefer thumbnail view, I do, because it makes more sense to what we do. Um, obviously, this huge browser window here is really useful to me. I like to be able to see what I'm working with, not just a list or a big long file name like this, but I can see this is MXF, confirmed here. It's 1920 by 1080 and it's DNX HD at 25. Always get to know as much information as you can. Now, if you wanted to modify anything as in terms of time code, you couldn't click around here and change this time code for whatever reason, but you could right click on the clip here in the media pool go to clip attributes and there you got a time code tab so you could then come in there and you could manipulate that to be hour seven like that so that's something i may do as well sometimes more so on offlines probably you get in there to change the time code of an offline movie to match your conform click on this one which is a black magic camera now you can see that that's playing in there. We can see 2397 ProRes, all the fours. It's ProRes from the Black Magic, not the Raw. This is really cool as well. There is something like over a hundred different fields that you could choose to add information into audio notes. Very good. Once changing any of these fields, you could then export them as an ALE and load that ALE into your editing software and you could then bring that information into there. This is something we used to do a lot on dailies. We'd create an ALE in a logging system, a logging machine, which would log the film. A similar thing that you can do now. But get used to understanding uh, your codex and what you are working with what type of film of digital it will make you a better grader same goes for if you now double click under here under the thumbnail apparently this has been there all the time since nine i only worked this out just before christmas you get what codec you're working with there uncompressed quick time prores red canon prores 444 it's useful because sometimes you may have mixed media and you're not quite sure which one is which. You know that is red there. You can jump straight in here and you could change your color temperature on that red file. You obviously can't do that with that one, but especially when you do have mixed media or maybe you've substituted VFX shots into your timeline, sometimes difficult to identify which is which. This does a similar thing over here, this eye brings up information and you can switch between system tells me how many clips we've got here whether we're running a proxy or not uh, gives us information on where our wipe is at but also if we go to clip that will change with what clip we're on that was the Canon that's the DNX HD and that is the red shot 5k useful things that just make us a bit more aware of what we're working with, especially now as we have so many different co codecs and camera formats. Um, it just helps us just to understand what they are and know what we're working with. And I think that also helps us to understand the strengths and the weaknesses of these codecs because it's reinforced in our mind exactly what we're grading. Thanks for tuning in. You can catch more information on the ICA at iColorist.com or the Facebook page or the Twitter page. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.